We just had a super weird incident, <laughs> and now we are going to talk to the police. No. That was so freaky. He takes off his shirt. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody, get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Nelsons. So we had a very interesting weekend. I very rarely do story times, but I thought this was worthy of a story time. So this is what happened. Are you ready to hear? It's a little crazy. Okay, let me just back up. So a few years ago, we had a guy or somebody come in and break in our like side door of our house, right? Do you remember yeah. that whole thing? Flashback. Someone came in the door, on our side door, in the middle of the night. Snuck in our house. Yes. yes, basically someone snuck in our house and it was so frightening. So all we know is our alarm goes off. We have this alarm. This alarm goes off. I didn't even hear it. I was just... Yeah. <laughs> and most of the kids just didn't even hear it. Until but... Cassie came and ran to my room. <laughs> oh my God. Benji, like, grabbed the bat, walks towards the door that got opened, which was, it's like a side door on the side of our house, right? He starts walking that way and all of a sudden he hears like footsteps in the teen hangout, right? Boom, 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 footsteps and someone going down the stairs and then someone shutting the door. How freaky is that? That is very creepy. End of flashback. So he came in or she came in the side door. We heard the alarm go off and Benji went over there and he heard someone running down the stairs and leaving. And so after that point, we installed cameras all over the place and we super upped the security of our house so we could go safe, right? Yeah. So then on Sunday, this happens. Well, first of all, let me back up. Sunday had been a great day. Like we had went to church, we had watched a devotional, we had like watched The Chosen, we had a great day, right? Yeah. And things were starting to kind of slow down. I sent the kids up to start getting ready for bed, most of them. Elsie and Presley were still with me and Benji and Ledger on the couch. And we heard ring, 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 knock, knock, knock at the door. And I was like, hey, Presley, Elsie, will you go see who's at the door and answer it? So they went and looked and they're like, and so they came and sat down and again, ding, 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 knock, knock, knock. At this point, did you hear ding, ding, knock, knock? Mm -hmm. Somebody came downstairs at that point and said, hey mom, somebody's at the door. And they're like, I think it's Beckham. Cause like only Beckham would be like, ding, 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 knock, 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 right? I'm like, Beckham's not outside. So I'm like, Benji, will you go see who it is? So he gets up, like moves Ledger off his lap and he gets up and he kind of starts walking towards the door. And I was like, didn't have the best feeling. I heard the doorbell and I was from all the way upstairs and I felt really weird because it was like really, it wasn't that late. It was pretty late on like a yeah. Sunday night because yeah. nobody's usually up. Yeah, it was nine o'clock at night so we usually don't get visitors. Yeah, kind of a weird time for someone to be like, especially that gutsy, right? Like bing, 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 bing. So I'm like, is something wrong? Like what's going on? So I remember we have cameras, we have a ring camera and we have other like hardwired cameras. So I was like, hang on just a second. Like literally Benji was ready to go around the corner and answer the door, mind you. Hey, just a second. So I get on my phone, it takes me a second. I look at the cameras and dude, <laughs> first of all, it was not Beckham. Second of all, it was nobody that we knew. And third of all, this individual looked a little bit dangerous and it is a really good thing that Benji did not answer the door. So I look at my cameras, we see this guy. He has got no socks and shoes on, it's freezing cold outside. He has shorts on, he has a t-shirt on and like what looks like a cape on. And he kept ringing the doorbell and knocking and then he would back up and go like this with his hands, almost like he was like under arrest. Yeah. I was like, Benji, do not go answer the door, right? And I'm like, we need to call 911. So I call 911 and I start talking to the lady and she gets all my information and she says she's sending someone out right now. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, just watch him and let's, let's just make sure that you're safe. So he comes over and by this time, several of my kids were downstairs, right? And we we're kind of trying to figure out, making sure all the doors around the house are locked. So Benji runs up, runs to the side, just make sure every single door is locked. That's what Benji's doing, right? Locking all the doors. The little kids are coming down, I'm trying to send 
the little kids up, but also trying to talk to 911 while I'm looking. So I didn't really think clearly. I probably should have the little kids go upstairs. Like it's really hard in an emergency situation to think clearly. Like you think you always will think clearly, but at the time it gets like a little bit frantic and sometimes you do things you probably yeah. shouldn't have done. So I let the kids stay down there and they were like, who is it? And I'm like, it's okay, it's fine. The doors are locked, the police are on their way and we're all kind of looking at this camera. Well, he takes the sweatshirt off and he lays it down right in front of our door. And he backs up like this again. And we're like, okay, he's acting super weird, but like nothing super scary yet. Then he walks over onto the steps on our front porch and he lays himself down like on the porch. What is going on here? with his hands behind his head like he's under arrest or something. We were like, what is happening? And I'm like talking to the lady, like, please tell them to hurry. And then he stands back up. And this is when it got really bad. I was like, don't look at the cameras. He takes off his shirt, his t-shirt, like completely. So he all he's in out of shorts. And he again lays them down like an offering on our front porch and like does the whole thing again. And I was like, please hurry. So this time I'm like, okay. <sighs> I'm telling the lady he's stripping down and he kept coming over to our <laughs> kitchen here and he was shining lights in our kitchen window and like, okay, just keep watching. Kept watching him on the camera. He walked off the porch, came back and then the worst thing happened. I don't know what was going on, but for some reason, I'm not obviously gonna show this, but he, these, I don't know why. He took his <laughs> off. <laughs> I told the lady on the phone, the 911 lady, she was so nice. I'm like, he's getting naked. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she like kind of chuckled a little bit. It wasn't funny. It was scary. She was like, does he have any weapons? I'm like, no. I really don't want to see what I'm, anyway. She says, okay, the police are almost there. Like two minutes away talks. So I was just trying to remain calm. Yeah, we were freaking out. It was, it was not the best moment. And then, Finally, he came off of our driveway back onto our porch. He got his clothes. I didn't get to see putting them back on, but he took the clothes, he picked them up, and he kind of put them under his arm, and he started walking away. We were like, okay, so we followed the cameras. We kept jumping to different cameras so we could see that he went all the way to the top of our driveway and was out of our driveway. So we were like, oh, And then we were waiting patiently. The police came, the police arrived. which always gives you such a good feeling. I'm so grateful for police officers because I did not want to face what was happening. Benji did not want to go out there. It wasn't safe, like it was super scary. And so the police came and they said that they were able to find him the street over, that they didn't quite know what influence he was under. It was under something and that he came to the front of our driveway and he saw gates and I, he told the police officer that he thought it was the gates into heaven and that he was going to heaven, which is a really big compliment. I mean, if you think about it, that our house. But that doesn't home. explain the it's fact like, of, it's like, a, it's like a big house and um, there's a gate and it probably looked really pretty because like the, the lights were on. The lights were They're on, like, the Christmas lights. I don't know. No, but that doesn't mean it. It was really sad because then you know what he said? He's like, but they wouldn't let me into heaven. I kept knocking and they wouldn't let me into heaven. And that is kind of sad. That's probably why he tried to give him his clothes. Maybe he was like, oh, Offering his clothes like to get in. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it was kind of crazy. And I, I mean, bless his soul. Like he probably just was having a really rough night. And so, but it was still very scary. Like he probably was harmless, but still he was a pro. Super. He went. Well, the thing is, is 
because he went over, we have garden plant thingies, the planter boxes. Yeah. He went all through there and was looking all over there. And then he went he like, was he was just, just kind of, no, he was, he was just kind right. of standing. See if there was anything over I don't know. Anyways, it was a very interesting experience. One that I really wasn't happy to have be the end of my, you know, great Sunday that we had. But we learned something. What did we learn from it, people? You, you lose some and you learn some, right? Yeah, so what did we works. learn? Never let your kid open the doors because I almost opened the door. Yes. And I had a feeling to look out the window. Always and look out the window. See who you're opening the door to. How are you always, night. always go to bed at 9 o'clock? Because like me, <laughs> I didn't have to oh. watch that. And always wait for the police to arrive before you confront somebody. Yeah, don't don't confront people gotcha. on your own. Not the best idea. Anyway, that was our fun Sunday. We thought we would let you know and just hope you guys can have a safe, safe holiday. And we actually wish the best for that gentleman. I'm sure that he was having a rough yeah. night too. So, um, Well, going know, to somebody's so. house is not really Yeah, the not the best idea, that, so. but we wish him well anyway. All right, guys, it is a little later in the day. I got Navy. She's ready for here. Yes, yeah. Feeling lovely. You look great. We got groceries. We got Luke. Hi, Luke. Hi. It is like, you're supposed to kind of wear something. Christmas, Christmas day. day. Uh, cheer, I don't know. Paisley, why are you God wearing Christmas Christmas good. Christmas good. Oh, she Christmas is. Christmas jacket. Boy, where did your uh, shorts go? I don't know. Christmas jacket, it's more of like a green sweatshirt, but anyway, I'm gonna go really quick to do a little bit more grocery shopping. Me and Gabby gotta go see some work, gotta do a TikTok, and Delaney has a gamer practice. She just has practice, yes, not a game. But right after this, oh, look how cute Luke looks. But after this, I am gonna come back and we are going to Lily's cheer performance. She's doing like all of her competition routines. Super excited for that, so let's go. All right, I will be back before seven, because it's at seven o'clock, we gotta go watch. You're gonna go drop her off to her practice. I'll take Delaney. Delaney. Practice. Who's gonna pick her up? Is someone bringing her home? Okay. I'll work that out. And I'll take the two boys. Okay, you take Ledger the two boys. Ledger and Beckham, let's go, bros. All right, I'll meet up with you at like 6.30. Bring town! Okay, on our way. Yeah, lots of cars leaving, going all different directions. All right, guys, so we just finished working at Target, but on the way back home to grab Benji and the girls, there's an issue on the freeway, and so they've closed the freeway. So I'm not gonna make it home in time and to be able to make it back in time. So I'm just gonna head over to the high school, and Benji is just going to meet me there and yeah, so we'll make Lily's performance just fine. I just want to make sure and not try to, you know, rush back. So that's the plan. Okay, so we just got home. We found out, got a phone call from Luke that Navy actually threw up twice at cheer. So Benji and I would grab her, bring her home, and the other kids will be home soon. Oh, it's not turning into a super great night. 
right guys, so we are gonna talk about the gift of learning tonight and I'm just gonna go check on Navy and see how she's feeling. Thank you guys so much for watching our Vlogmas. See you tomorrow.